So in this video, I'm going to derive the 2 by 2 inverse matrix. OK, so let's say that we have a 2 by 2 matrix A, uh, which has entries A, B, C, D. Then its inverse matrix, so A minus 1, will have entries P, Q, R, S. We don't know what the P, the Q, the R and the S are. OK, that's what we need to work out. But we do know that A times A minus 1 would be equal to the identity matrix. That, by definition, of what we understand the inverse matrix to be. So A, B, C, D must multiply with P, Q, R, S in order to get 1, 0, 0, 1. OK, so our job is to work out P, Q, R and S in terms of A, B, C and D. OK, that's our job. OK, because if I then know what the original matrix I'm given, A, B, C, D is, then I could work out its inverse matrix. So we're going to multiply these two matrices together. So AB multiply with PR, so AP plus BR, and then AB multiplying with QS, so AQ plus BS, CD multiply with PR, so CP plus DR, and CD multiplying with QS, so CQ plus DS. And this has got to be equal to 1001. OK, so these entries here correspond to the 1001 that I have in the identity matrix here. And that gives us four equations. We have AP plus BR must be equal to 1. We have that AQ plus BS must be equal to 0. We have that CP plus DR must be equal to oh, sorry, 0. And CQ plus DS has got to be equal to 1. OK, so AP plus BR is equal to 1. AQ plus BS is equal to 0. That's equal to that. That's equal to that. OK, this gives us four equations to work with. Now, what must my strategy be here? Well, what you want to do, as I said, is to get P, Q, R and S in terms of A, B, C and D. OK, so what we're going to want to do is to isolate some of these letters. Um, so let's say that we're going to uh, rearrange two equations, so these two in terms of P and these two in terms of Q. OK, this is one possible strategy. So in doing that, um, I could then get two equations with P equals from those two, put one equal to the other, and then the P is gone, OK? And I could just focus in on the equations I have remaining. So let's rearrange this one here to get P equals. So subtracting the BR from both sides, so 1 take away BR, and I'm going to divide both sides by A. OK? Uh, this equation here, so P is equal to subtract the DR from both sides, and divide through by C. OK, so the good news is that because I want to get P, Q, R and S in terms of A, B, C and D, putting these two equations equal to one another, I will just have the R involved um, with A, B, C and D. OK, so that uh, is precisely what I want to have. So I'm going to put this equation equal to that one. So we've got the 1 minus BR over A is equal to minus DR over C. Which makes sense because both of them are P. Right, let's multiply up by the C and multiply up by the A. So we're going to get C take away BCR. And multiplying up by the A, we're going to get minus ADR. Right, let's move the minus ADR over to the other side and move the C over to the other side. So we're going to have ADR take away BCR is equal to negative C. 
Factor the R out. So R lots of AD minus BC is equal to negative C. And so R is equal to negative C over AD minus BC. And there's my first letter of the PQRFs in terms of A, B, C, and D. Okay, so that's R. So now I want to be able to get to P. Okay, so I could substitute the R into either of these two, but it's going to be easier substituting into that one. So uh, we've got substituting the R into here. P is going to be equal to minus D over C times R times by minus C over A, D minus B, C. So you can see here the minuses are going to cancel. The C's are also going to cancel, leaving me with D over A, D minus B, C. So I now have R and P. OK? So... Up here, we can start to fill in what we know. So the inverse matrix currently looks like this. We've got the P, so D over A, D minus B, C. And we've got the R, which is minus C over A, D minus B, C. OK, so they are the first two terms that I have. Right, so uh, I'm going to need a little bit more space. So. Let's erase that um, and erase those two. So now we're going to do the same job, but focusing in on these two equations here. So I rearrange both of those to get P, so I'll rearrange both of these to get Q. So Q equals, so subtract B, S from both sides and divide both sides by A. So Q is equal to minus B, S over A. Then here, same job. Subtract the DS from both sides, so 1 take away DS, divide through by C. Now, of course, as we're going through here, um, in order to derive these, um, we're looking at... Um, some non-zero values here in order for this to really work, OK, um, for the A, B, C, and D. That doesn't mean that A, B, C, D have to be non-zero um, in order to find an inverse function, but the final um, structure will remain valid, OK? So just to be aware of that. So... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, where are we? So we're going to put these two equal to one another. So we've got the minus BS over A is equal to the 1 minus DS over C. OK. Multiply it by the A, multiply it by the C. So minus BCS is equal to A take away ADS. Now if I add the ADS to both sides... We arrive at this equation here. Factor the S out, and we get AD minus BC in a bracket is equal to A. And so S must be A over AD minus BC. OK, so that's S. So that's A over AD minus BC. All right. So substituting that, back into this one would be easiest to get Q. So Q is minus B over A times S. So A over AD minus BC. So the A's cancel. We've got the negative at the front. So negative B over AD minus BC. And so that is Q. So minus B over AD minus BC. Right, and there we are, okay? So that's our inverse function. Right, let's get rid of those. And that. Okay. So, what needs to be key in understanding here is that 
And what you should recognise is that AD minus BC is, of course, the determinant of uh, the matrix A. And what we can do is we can factor the AD minus BC out. So we can write the inverse matrix is 1 over AD minus BC times by the matrix D, negative B, negative C, A. Now you can write that, if you like, as 1 over uh, the determinant of A. Uh, that's fine. But what you're clearly seeing in the pattern of how these uh, letters have moved around, the A and the D have switched places. And so that diagonal has switched places, and the B and the C have changed sign. And everything's been divided by the determinant. And so that is the inverse matrix of A.